These girls got to date some badass overpowered guys. Here are 10 romance action anime with an overpowered main character. Let's go. Number 10, Sengoku, Night Blood. If you're a huge fan of war and strategy games, you might have thought on time, huh, how cool would it be if Japanese warlords got to kill each other in their own state? That's pretty much what this anime is all about. Warlords from Japan have their own states, and they are at war with each other. And in the middle of the war is innocent Yuzuki, who must decide which warlord is the best warlord. This anime pretty much calls itself a Warring States romance fantasy, so you could tell this is about killing each other while falling in love. And anyone who has watched enough romance anime can tell this is going in your good old reverse arm route. Apart from the romance, you've also got some nice action, so make sure to give this one a go. Number 9, The Demonic King Who Chases His Wife. <laughs> This is about a demonic king who simps for his wife? Or is it about a stubborn girl and a stubborn boy trying to manage their life inside a castle? Uh, it's pretty much both actually. On one side, we've got an empress named Shi, who was a renowned assassin. Her husband is Emperor He. And no, I'm not making up these names. Apparently, whoever wrote this anime became bored while naming their characters. <laughs> This whole anime is about he guy bullying the she girl, but she girl being more stubborn than he thought. See what I did there? This is a Chinese anime, so the art style and the character designs are going to be very different from your regular Japanese anime. The main female character also isn't some damsel in distress, so that's pretty refreshing to watch. Number 8, Cho Yu Saki. <laughs> This is all about Saber. No, not the Fate Saber. This is about a military group called the Saber, who is formed to oppose mysterious beings called disasters. Here our main character is Noi, a guy who wants to join Saber and fight these mysterious beings. When a girl called Modus comes to his class, his life turns upside down. <laughs> This was one of the most unpopular titles to come out back in 2017. Back in 2017, if you asked someone what My Hero Academia was then, they'd nod their head and say they watched it. But ask someone what Shoyu Sekai was, and they will look at you like you insulted them. But despite being unpopular, this is a very good action romance anime, so make sure to watch this one. Number 7, Black Bullet. <laughs> At number 7, we've got another anime with your good old man vs monster premise. Oh wait, this time it's parasites. And just like every apocalyptic fantasy, here we have characters who can use the parasitic monster virus for their own advantage. These girls are called the Cursed Children, and they could get a partner called Promoters and go on hunting monsters. When we follow the story of Anju Ahira, an initiator, and Satomi Rentaro, a promoter. This anime has more lollies than plot, but if you ignore whatever the heck this is, you'll find an interesting story with action. You can pretty much call this Attack on Titan with a sci-fi touch. Does this mean you're going to get a plot like Attack on Titan? Nope. But at least you still get the action. Number 6, Shampooni. Number 
Wait, let me check. Main character gets a superpower in the first episode. He kills a god in the first episode. He gets his first kiss in the first episode. Yeah, this pretty much ticks all the boxes of the romance anime with way too overpowered main character anime list. Japoni is all about a god slayer named Godu. After killing off a god, Godu becomes a god slayer who has the power to slay any gods in the vicinity. Just like every romance action anime with great power comes a great amount of girls, or at least a very powerful girlfriend. So he goes on having a nice romantic life while killing gods as a hobby. To be honest, Godu wields power more than a divine being, as he is a person created in order to slay the gods themselves, so if you want a romance anime with a really overpowered main character, here you go. Number 5, Zetman. <laughs> If the last five anime were romance for kids, then this is romance for adults. This is what happens when a guy who wants to make a Hollywood blockbuster decides to make an anime. Meet Jin, a guy who is special because he has an angel mark on his hand. He's your average background character in anime, but when a strange monster called Player appears and starts chopping off the heads off of everyone around him, Jin's life begins to change. Zetman has everything you can ask for in a romance anime. It's got action, bloody violence, gore, monsters killing humans, and sprinkled on top of it is a nice subplot filled with love. Despite being an old anime, this got some nice action along with some nice animation. It has only one season with 13 episodes, so if you fall in love with this show, you can binge watch it in one week. Number 4, Hidden no Ira. This time, we don't just get lollies, we got lollies with guns. Oh, and the main character is a badass too. Hidden no Ara is that perfect spy action school anime that gives you everything you need with a neat, fast paced story. All of this happens in an alternate reality, Japan, where detectives are trained as mercenary agents of justice. So these guys are like a combination of Sherlock Holmes and John Wick. Our main character, Kinji Tuyama, was a dropout of this elite academy, but after a run-in with an infamous killer caused him to meet Ira Holmes Kanzaki. She realizes his potential as she demands Kinji to become her partner. From there onwards, you can pretty much see where this goes. You've got guns, romance, more guns, some unrealistic action scenes, and your regular Sundre Lolly. What more could you ask for? Number 3, Record of Grand Crest War. Time to dive into some politics. Do you need a brave knight and a smart lady to go around the kingdom capturing territories one by one? Then Grand Crest is the show for you. It starts off pretty simple with Seleucia Militis finding a way to defeat the demon lord and the impending chaos. Along the way, she meets the brave warrior Theo Cornaro, who wants to liberate his village from evil. From there onwards, it's all about wars, action, politics, and romance. Theo is the overpowered character who doesn't hesitate to rescue the lady when needed, and rather than being another damsel in distress, Seleucia is actually a smart girl who pulls off political schemes to climb the hierarchy. If you want a political anime done right, then give this one a go. Number 2, Chaikia, the Coffin Princess. Hey! Leo, 
don't worry, this isn't going to involve necromancy. This is about one guy deciding to help a girl who is carrying a coffin on her back. Wait, why is she carrying a coffin on her back? Well, she's searching for the scattered remains of her father to give him a proper burial. Aiding her are two siblings who are good fighters and want to maintain the peace of the kingdom. But when Chaika's father turns out to be a guy who threatens the peace of the kingdom, they have to make a choice. <laughs> Chaika the Coffin Princess gives a backseat to the romance, but it definitely has romantic undertones. It knows how to maintain the tension throughout each of its episodes, and it definitely leans more towards adventure as well. If you want to see two siblings helping a girl carrying a coffin, then this is the show for you. Number 1 Twin Star Exorcists Kill demons, fall in love. That is what Twin Star Exorcists is all about. But the execution of the story is really what matters. Here, we meet Benio Adashino and Rokuro and Maduro, two exorcists with the duty of dealing in all impurities that reside within Magano. When the two of them meet, Benio realizes that Rokuro's talents rivals her own, and they both start working together. Soon, they get the name Twin Star Exorcists. Twin Star Exorcists is a romance action anime. The love story doesn't feel forced. The relationship between the couple is developed slowly over time. The fight scenes are really epic and it has some youthful level animation when the most tension filled moments hit in. And there's a lot of character developments thrown into the mix as well. Overall, this is a 10 out of 10 anime. And if you haven't watched this, go watch this right now before I send an exorcist to your house. 